Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, my name is Bryn, and thank you so much for being here. It's so great to have you. Happy 2018. This is my first video of the year. I hope the year has been going well so far for everybody, the first, like, week and a bit. So for this video, I am going to be talking about how I've dealt with acne over the years and how I fixed it and my current skincare routine, which is all cruelty free. Not everyone can be born with perfect skin, unfortunately. Skincare is a journey, um, <laughs> which sounds like so dramatic and cliched, but like it is a journey finding out what works for you and getting to know your skin type and the way that your skin reacts to different ingredients. This is not going to be the Twitter skincare routine of just drink 10 gallons of water a day and use Dove Bar Soap. <laughs> like these are things that are tried and true for me personally. So this is the disclaimer part of the video where I tell you that I am not a skincare expert I'm not a dermatologist, um, and what works for me may not work for you. If I have a product that I am in love with, it may have broken you out, got you kicked out of school, sold you fake concert tickets, and been rude to your dog. I am not wearing makeup on my face currently. All that I did after doing my skincare routine is just uh, apply brow gel and curl my eyelashes. So. This is real, this is me, this is what my skin looks like. And I'm gonna have some before pictures somewhere. It's important to recognize that everybody's skin is different and what works for me might not work for you. So let's just keep that in mind as we move forward. So I started breaking out pretty regularly around, I wanna say grade seven. So I was only like 12 years old when I started getting regular breakouts and they continued all the way through high school like in different uh, places like I remember in grade 9 and 10 I would break out a lot on my forehead and then grade 11 12 and a bit of my first year of college it stopped on my forehead but then I had a lot of really concentrated acne like right around uh, my lower cheeks uh, around my mouth my chin and these were the kind of breakouts the ones that were in my lower face region that were painful, itchy, just irritated, and uh, just really uncomfortable. And they were deeper under the skin. I was extremely insecure about my skin and I would wear so much makeup. I would pile on a very full coverage foundation, uh, concealer, powder that all, and then I thought that my face looked flat and had no dimension. And so then I would bronze and contour and wear blush and then highlight. In high school, I was doing a full face of makeup every single day, which I know wasn't contributing to uh, the overall state of my skin because I wasn't letting it breathe. Plus, I was missing out on a lot of sleep because I wake up so early to do my makeup and I feel like the lack of sleep was also contributing to um, how my skin was. Also, the fact that I would be so tired from waking up really early to do my makeup. So I was drinking a lot of coffee throughout high school and caffeine dehydrates you. So just a combination of lack of sleep, dehydration, how much makeup I was wearing um, on top of uh, already having hormonal acne, the combination of all those things was just not helping my skin at all. So after struggling for years and just being completely miserable with the state of my skin, I finally made a change and kind of took a different approach to what I was doing with my skin because I was just trying to strip it before of anything that I thought would be causing breakout. I was around 16 years old. I was using the Clinique three-step uh, acne program, which is just a really heavily benzoyl peroxide based uh, skincare routine. And it destroyed my face. My skin was so dry. It got to a point where all the moisture was just like sapped from my skin. My eyelids and like under eye region was flaking. It was such a disaster. Oh, oh my gosh, it was just, just a bad time. So in my first year of college, I was so fed up with having so much acne and I just decided like, enough is enough and I went to my family doctor and I got a birth control prescription because I knew that at this point 
I had tried everything and I knew that my acne had to have been caused by hormones and so I talked to my doctor and he got me a prescription for um, birth control pills that is kind of targeted towards uh, people who struggle with hormonal acne and I had actually had a friend uh, recommend that same uh, brand and dosage to me. So this is the one that I ended up trying and I was starting to see results within a couple months, like maybe three, yeah, three or four months, like a few. This was October of 2016 and at the same time I actually stopped eating meat and so I feel like the combination of uh, the birth control and not eating meat kind of helps get to like the the root of the problem of why my skin was bad. Once I stopped actively breaking out and uh, the majority of the spots had gone away, I still had hyperpigmentation left over and uh, I, I, it was easy to cover because it didn't really have much of a texture, but I did have like a lot of dark spots and in some instances I had um, some scarring. Nothing ever very deep, but enough for me to notice it and enough for me to just not like it. My main focus with skincare became targeting um, the acne scars and kind of trying to resurface my skin while at the same time being very gentle. I just wanted to be really kind to my skin and uh, increase cell turnover which is basically just like how your skin uh, cells regenerate themselves because your cells are constantly dying and regenerating and so the faster your cell turnover process is um, the more new skin cells you're going to have and skincare helps with that. So I'm just gonna walk you through the skincare routine that I currently have in the order that I do it in. The first thing that I go in with is my cleanser. So this is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser and this is so flippin' gentle and feels amazing on the skin. It's called a conditioning face wash and so it feels like your face is moisturized afterwards and you don't get that like tight squeaky clean feeling on your skin which is really nice and it doesn't lather a lot of people have um issues with uh face washes that lather drying out their skin and that's because of the ingredients in it that make it lather and frothy and all those kind of things which is just like sulfates but since this doesn't lather it's a lot more gentle and there's rose water in here as well glycerin so really nice hydrating things but i find that this also does really help with uh breaking down makeup so with this stuff i just take one pump on my hand and i just massage it into my skin and then i rinse it off with water and uh pat my face dry with a towel next up i have toners of which i use two the first are the pixie glue low peel pads and I tend to just use these at night and they have 20% glycolic acid and there's also rose water in these. You're gonna notice a lot of uh, rose related things in my skincare routine. Uh, my skin just reacts really well to rose apparently. So with these you just take one, they're just a little pad and you wipe it all over your face and it's great because they really pick up any makeup that you have left over that a cleanser may have not taken care of and you let the product sit on your skin for five minutes and then you go in and rinse it off. The next toner that I have is such a ride or die for me. This is the Mario Badescu uh, facial spray with aloe, herbs, and again rose water. This might be my... I want to say fourth bottle and I just got the big one off of Urban Outfitters so I'm so excited because it's gonna last me twice as long. So with this I just mist it all over my face and then I kind of just like pat it in and you can also use this as a makeup setting spray so it, it's multi-purpose. Next we're going with the serum and this is another thing that I typically use at night and it is the Ole Heinrichsen Truth Serum which is a collagen boosted with triple vitamin C complex. So this is actually meant to be an anti-aging serum, but I use it for just keeping my skin really bright and refreshed and all those nice things. Vitamin C is great for your skin and especially with brightening dark spots. So I take like half a pump to a pump of this and just like work it into my skin, especially concentrating on my cheeks, which is where I used to break out. And so that's where I have the dark spots. And for something that's actually super affordable, we have The Ordinary, such a good brand. You can either get this online or there's a flagship store in the distillery district in Toronto. If you're ever around that area, I would highly recommend checking it out. So this is the 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. 
and it's so hydrating. It feels amazing on the skin. I just take a few drops of it all over my face and then I massage it into my skin and it makes it so nice and soft and glowy and it's awesome for winter when people kind of have like drier, duller skin but I know that I'm going to be using this all year round. I'm just especially loving it with uh, how dry the weather has been. For my eyes, I use the Kate Somerville Goat Milk De-Puffing Eye Balm. It literally just looks like a lip balm but you apply it to your eyelids and your under eyes and so if you wake up with uh, puffy eyes or bags around your eyes this really helps and it has a nice cooling sensation to it so if your eyes are irritated like if you have been bawling your eyes out and then you need to go somewhere afterwards and your eyes are all like irritated and red and puffy and stuff like that just throw this on and no one will know you how to break down. And the last thing that I do is throw on the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. So I just take a little bit of this on um, my fingers and just massage it into my face. And it is described as a buildable face cream. So you can go in with uh, another layer on top and it layers quite nicely and just adds like another like kick of hydration without feeling like you have so much moisturizer just like slapped on your face. It's really lightweight, uh, it makes an awesome base for makeup, and it helps to reduce redness and even out your skin tone, and so it feels like you don't really even need to put that much makeup on top of it. The last thing that I use on a regular basis with my skincare routine is the Glossier Balm.com. I have a few of these. I just keep like moving them back and forth between like my bags, and so the one that I have on hand with me is the Birthday Balm.com. Uh, smells phenomenal. It's straight up like a vanilla birthday cake and it's so good. And this one doesn't have a tint, but it has a slight amount of shimmer in it, which is really pretty. Now I've got a couple things that I don't use on a daily basis, but I still do like to use. I occasionally dabble in a face mask. Uh, one that's super cleansing that I've had for years. Uh, this is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. The name of that has always confused me because the Aztec Empire is not near India and it has like Chichen Itza on it which is in Mexico so like is it is it Aztec or Indian? I digress. Uh, this stuff is great. It's just like a powdered clay that you mix with water. I just put it in like a little bowl and then I mix it up with an old like foundation paddle brush. Those ones that are not great to apply foundation with but um they're awesome for painting on face masks. So I do that and then I leave it for like 20 minutes if my face is in need of like a real deep clean where I just want to like, like just absorb everything from my skin or sometimes I'll just put this around um, my nose and chin which are the areas that I get a little bit more oily because I am slightly combination. I don't think I would recommend this if you have really sensitive skin just because the clay is absorbing and it's like very drying so you would have to follow up with something really moisturizing afterwards to rebalance your skin but if you want something that's going to just really like deep clean especially if you have quite oily skin this stuff is really good i'm also a huge fan of the lush fresh face masks both the original ones where when you walk into the store they're sitting on the ice bar in the little bowls but also the new jelly masks the only one that i have on hand right now is um a thousand millihelens so this one has uh green tea and witch hazel so awesome things for just like balancing your skin and the base of these is carrageenan seaweed i think i'm pronouncing that right am i well anyway that's what gives it the gel like texture which is the seaweed and seaweed is really rich in minerals and vitamins and things that are just awesome for your skin and so it leaves your face feeling really soft my favorite of the jelly masks is actually uh, Birth of Venus, which is the blue one, but I just don't have it right now. One last thing that I use from time to time is the Good Genes Lactic Acid Treatment from Sunday Riley. I just have a teeny little one because I ran out of the one that I actually purchased and it's so much money, but I got the like 100 point perk one, so I'm using it very sparingly. So this is a lactic acid treatment and it's great for resurfacing the skin and I just kind of mainly concentrate this on my cheek and it helps with uh, brightening the skin so much and just evening out the tone and texture and all that. Yeah, I love Sunday Riley so much and it would be amazing if they were a little bit more affordable. The thing about Sunday Riley though is that you can find products with the same ingredients from brands like The Ordinary that are 
a lot more affordable. So I would recommend checking them out. Okay you guys, that's a wrap on today's video. I really hope that you found this helpful and might want to check out some of the products that have worked for me. For the more expensive things, I would completely recommend getting samples. Go abuse Sephora's sample system. I really hope you liked it. If you did, maybe give it a thumbs up or like subscribe or something. Thank you so much for watching. It was great to have you here and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!